Hey YouTube, this is Mike Shelley with another repair video. This time I'm going to repair my Sennheiser headset. That's one of these uh, microphone and headset combos to allow you to speak on a landline without holding the actual phone. I know it's weird, but I still have a landline phone, so I'm using that. The model of this device is DWBS. I kid you not it's WBS okay whatever the problem here is that the battery is failing it's not charging anymore and I ordered a new one from eBay and I'm gonna put that in and show you how it's done so once again just to confirm you got the right model because every battery case is slightly different the headset is called DW Pro 2 and the charging station is the model number DWBS US. Now this particular model comes with two earpieces and the battery is in the one without the mic. So not the one with the mic, but the other one. You just pull on the foam, pull just a little bit and all the way around to avoid ripping the foam. And what you see is that the foam came off, but this flat ring all around the earpiece stayed in place. Now you need to get that plastic flat ring off in order to get to the battery. So what I found works best if you put your nail in there and just angle it off. Remember how that ring fits in there. So there's a groove and towards the inner side of the ring, the groove goes downwards. Now to let the battery lid snap open on the other side, you need to press this little clip here. Best with your nail or a screwdriver. As soon as you do that, then the battery lid will snap open on the other side and you can remove the battery. To get full access to the battery case, we need to wiggle off that lid. We can do that easily because the locking mechanism has been disabled. Now the battery is connected to the case with this cable and the harness. And it's not like a harness in a car where you need to click a release clip. It just sticks in there and the easiest way I've found to remove it is just to pull on the cable. But careful, you don't want to rip the cable. There's only one way this harness will go in, by the way, because the pins are closer to one end than the other. So even if you try it to insert it the wrong way, it won't work. All right, let's take a look at the battery. The model number here is ahb 4018 Three, five, and then there's a T and sometimes an SP. If you get the numbers right, that'll be just fine. Note that the capacity of the old battery is 0.8 watt hours. And the new one that I found on Amazon, actually, did I say eBay before? I checked eBay before and then uh, it was something like 18 bucks and the seller on Amazon sold it for 11.95 and it came the next day. So I went with that one. Anyway, so the old battery was listed with a capacity of 0.8 watt hours and the new one is listed with a capacity of 200 milliamp hours. So we have to multiply that 3.7 by 0 0.2. So we get about 0.74 watt hours. So it's about comparable to the old battery. So as I said, it came the next day and it comes with the battery, the cable and the harness. So all you need to do is unwrap the package and plug the harness onto the pins in the battery compartment of the headset. So as I said, there's only one way that this fits onto the pins because it's not symmetrical. Make sure that it's a snug fit and press it down with the screwdriver to make sure. Give it a little tug to see if it's still connected. And if so, close the compartment and we are done. To reattach the lid, attach it at the top side first and then press it down firmly for the clip to snap in, just like that. And for the foam to reattach to the earpiece, we need to put it onto the ring first. Remember the orientation when we took it off and then press down firmly in a circular motion until it's snug everywhere, just like that. And that's all there is to it, really. All we need to do now is charge the headphones. For this, connect them to the charging station and notice the blue light coming on. Also, if the battery comes pre-charged, you can see that there's already four 
out of five bars at the bottom, indicating it's ready to go. And there you have it. Brand new battery in this headset. Hopefully, it's going to be working for another 20 years or so. See you next time. Bye.